All of the steps taken to produce this five unit Biotemps bridge help ensure an ideal prosthetic outcome for the final restoration. The versatility of CAD CAM technology and layered PMMA makes this approach suitable for single tooth, multi unit, or full arch cases. To start the CAD process, our technician uses dental CAD software to design the screw-retained Biotemps bridge on the virtual model generated from the scans. As with any implant case, we start with the path of insertion. Once this is established, we can build the substructure of our bridge. The ideal abutments are created from the standard abutment library based on the system chosen by the doctor. Prosthetic teeth are selected from a digital crown library, including three screw retained units and two pontics. The design software generates an ideal tooth form for each individual unit of the bridge. Then the technician positions them onto the virtual model. Next, the margins are defined and verified. At this stage, we must consider many factors of the restorative design. Size, shape, and dimensions, as well as the interproximal and opposing contacts for five adjoining crowns of the temporary prosthesis. Then the technician determines the locations of the access holes for the titanium copings. The data generated from the scanning abutments is very important when it comes to positioning the openings in alignment with the implants. The access holes are created with the proper dimensions needed to accommodate the titanium copings and are situated to ensure a passive fit of the prosthesis. Once we confirm the prosthetic design on the virtual model, CAM files are generated and then sent to the milling center for fabrication of the screw retained temporary. A layered PMMA disc is inserted into the fixture and the temporary restoration is milled. creating an exact physical duplicate of the CAD design. The technician removes the prosthesis from the disc using a handpiece and begins to touch up the Biotemps bridge with a burr and disc to ensure lifelike aesthetics. Next, the technician places titanium copings in the access holes of the provisional. The provisional is then attached to the working model to verify the accuracy of the milled prosthesis. The prosthesis is sandblasted to ensure the stain adheres to it. It is then glazed and light cured. The staining and curing process repeats as needed for the shade prescribed by the doctor.
Next, the technician applies glaze to the access holes and cures them. The titanium copings are cemented into the openings of the finished Biotemps bridge using Resin bond or monochem. The provisional is then attached to the working model to verify the accuracy of the milled prosthesis. Now that the fabrication process is complete, our team performs a final quality control check to ensure an accurate bite, margins, shade, contours, and adherence to any special instructions provided by the doctor.